Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. IRS updates feature on Where's My Refund? Which is great! I hope they update the feature that gets the refund out faster. However, judging by past performance, I assume the new feature will be some kind of advanced excuse maker. Oh, your refund is late, is it? No worries, and don't blame us. We have generated 1,001 excuses for your review. Excuses such as, Due to our large emoting hearts over here at the IRS, we recently adopted many dogs from the pound. Dogs slated to be executed. But apparently the new dogs didn't know how to behave in the IRS office, so we had to lock them in a small room and use your tax return to cover the floors so as to make the cleaning up process after our new dogs easier. And that's just one of the many excellent excuses you can look forward to being able to select from when you use the Where's My Refund tool. Please select the excuse you feel will most effectively get you to sit down and shut up because the refund will get there when it gets there. Okay, that was a bit of a rant. This is the actual news here, getting down to it. Taxpayers can now track refunds for past two years. IR 2022-109, May 25th, 2022, Washington. The Internal Revenue Service made an important enhancement to the Where's My Refund online tool this week, introducing a new feature that allows taxpayers to check the status of their current tax year and two previous years' refunds. Amazing! Taxpayers can select any of the three most recent tax years to check their refund status. They'll need their social security number or ITIN filing status and expected refund amount from the original filed tax return for the tax year they're checking. Previously, Where's My Refund? Here's the link to the tool here if you want to check it out. Only displayed the status of the most recently filed tax return within the past two tax years. Information available to those calling the refund hotline will be limited to the 2021 tax return. So it's kind of interesting. It looks like the Where's My Refund tool might actually be giving you more information than if you were to call the IRS, which in my opinion is also the IRS basically saying, don't call us, right? Use the refund, use the tools. We don't want to talk to you on the, on the phone. You'll actually get more information on the Where's My Refund tool than if you get in contact with some kind of person at the IRS possibly. But in any case, use it. Where's my refund? There's a link to that here. Taxpayers can start checking the status of their refund within 24 hours after e-filing a tax year 2021 return, three or four days after e-filing a tax year 2019 or 2020 return, four weeks after mailing a, tag a return. The IRS reminds taxpayers that online account continues to be the best option for finding their prior year adjusted gross income balance due or other type of account information so if you're using the where's my refund tool you might need that that amount the agi for example possibly you can find that on your online account and you want to be using your online account the iris is trying to push people more and more into the online account they stopped doing i think they stopped doing the facial recognition thing and putting a chip in your forehead and trying to track your every movement at this point in time and they're just going to do an online account so i think you can trust it at least for the time being so uh, you probably want to check that out because you can get some information from it. And they're going to try to guide more stuff to that online account, I would assume, just because that's the easiest thing to do. Quote, we encourage those who expect a refund but request an extension to file as soon as they're ready. We process returns on a first in basis. So th the tax return process you would hope would be on that kind of basis. So in other words, you know, the first in, first out. When you file the return, they're going to work on the ones in some kind of order. They shouldn't be, because it's a bureaucratic system, kind of prioritizing someone based on who they are. So that means if you call your tax uh, practitioner, you shouldn't have any special sway. I'm sure some people do, but right. And you shouldn't have any special sway to call in and say, hey, can you process, can you put my tax return on the top of the line? That's not how the bureaucratic system uh, is supposed to work. It's first in, uh, first served kind of thing. So we process returns on a first in basis. So the sooner the better, end quote, said IRS Commissioner Chuck Reddick, quote, there's usually no reason to wait until October 17th if uh, filers have the relevant information to file now. Free file, there's a link to that here, is still available for extension recipients to use the prepare and file their federal tax return for free. 
So that's the link that gets you to the third party software. So you want to use that if you have the capacity to uh, and, and, and you do if your income is below a certain threshold. And I think you will not have access to it after uh, the extension deadline on October 17th, I believe. So if you're planning on using that, use it before that time. Electronic filing is open 24 seven and the IRS continues to receive returns and issue refunds. Once taxpayers have filed, uh, they can track the refund with Where's My Refund. About the Where's My Refund tool, tell us about it. Give us some info on that. That's what we wanna know. This helpful tool accessible on irs.gov, irs.gov, V for victory over tax stuff, or you can use the mobile app, which I still haven't done because I'm not super cool anymore I, I'm or, and ever ever was i don't have a, an app that I, so i don't check it on the app but if you were super cool that's what you'd be using irs to go there's a link to that here it's a mobile app allows taxpayer payers to track their refund through three stages number one return received number two refund approved and then number three the refund has been sent the tool is updated once a day usually overnight and gives taxpayers a projected refund issuance date as soon as it's approved. So remember, it's only updated once a day. So if you're checking it, if you know someone that's checking it all the time, like you're going to like an amusement park and you're on a roller coaster and they pull out their phone in the middle of the roller coaster and they go to that IRS to go kind of thing and check the status for like the 20th time in a the day, they have a problem. They should put the phone down, turn it off. You know, they, you'd only need to check it maybe twice maximum for to be a check it out. So in any case, work on that, work on these things. So it's also one of the most popular online features available from IRS. I, yeah, I could see why. So uh, the Where's My Refund tool was developed in 2002 and was used by taxpayers more than 776 million times in 2021. Uh, enhancing taxpayers experience in IT modernization. The IRS continues to enhance the customer experience by enhancing and expanding digital tools that deliver improved services to taxpayers. Quote, the IRS is committed to identifying opportunities to make improvements in real time for taxpayers and the tax professional community. Uh, end quote, said Reddick, quote, uh, this enhancement to where's my refund is just one of many, end quote. So we got a lot of lot to look forward to, according to the IRS, Mr. Reddick here. So that's that's good. I'll believe it when I see it. But I appreciate the increase in the technology. The additional refund status information. Uh, there's no need to call the IRS. So here we go. Here it is. Please don't call us. Uh, we got everything on the website. And yeah, we don't want to talk to you and we don't, ha we don't have the capacity to, so here we go. There's no need to call the IRS to check on refund status unless it, unless it has been more than 21 days since the return was filed or the tool says the IRS can provide more information. If the IRS needs more information to process the return, the taxpayer will be contacted by mail. So obviously if the tool says, hey, we don't got enough to, you know, if there's, you don't have the stuff to process it, the IRS will typically tell you that at some point in time. And usually the IRS still does the mail contact. So you should be getting something in the mail uh, uh, based on that information. So for more information about checking the status of a tax refund, please visit Where's My Refund. There's a link to that tool. There's links to whatever other link that I said there was a link to here. And there'll be a link to this in the description.